Miss Lynn here at the Sun Prairie Public Library, where we continue to celebrate Black History Month through picture books. Today we have The Quickest Kid in Clarksville by Pat Zietlo Miller and illustrated by Frank Morrison. And I can't wait to read this one to you in the back, like I love to point out. There is an author's note with a whole bunch of more historical information. So check this one out. You can read all that. It's super interesting. Let's get started. The Quickest Kid in Clarksville by Pat Zietlow Miller, illustrated by Frank Morrison, published by Chronicle Books. I'm running in place, listening to my feet pound the pavement, pretending I'm the fastest woman in the world. Of course, Wilma Rudolph, who grew up right in this town, is faster than anyone. But I'm the quickest kid in Clarksville, Tennessee, and everyone around here knows it. I'm thinking about tomorrow's parade and wondering what Wilma's three Olympic gold medals would feel like hanging around my neck when a girl I've never seen before comes sashaying my way like she owns the sidewalk and everything on it. She sticks a hand on her hip. I'm Charmaine. I look her up and down. I'm Alta. That's Dee Dee and Little Mo. Got me some new shoes, Charmaine says. Boy, howdy does she ever. Brand new, only been worn by her shoes, with stripes on the sides and laces so white they glow. Shoes to strut in, shoes to run in, because Charmaine's strutting hard enough to shame a rooster, and her legs are just raring to run. These shoes are like Wilma's, she says. My daddy went up down to get them. I stare at the concrete. I don't have a shoe buying daddy. My sneakers have holes in the soles and laces that never thought to glimmer. I bite my lip. It's okay. Wilma wore a leg brace and flower sack dresses before she got big. Shoes don't make you fast, I say. Charmaine's face tightens. Reckon I'm faster than anyone. I puff up like a spitting cat. She wishes she were Wilma, but I'm the real deal. I point to the mailbox. There and back. We crouch low. Dee Dee and Little Mo count down, and we're off. My sneakers slap a sidewalk beat. Wilma Rudolph, Wilma Rudolph. I reach the box first, turn and sprint back. Arms moving, legs grooving. I hear Charmaine huffing and puffing behind me. I do a victory dance while Charmaine glares. I'm still bebopping when she takes off again. To the corner, Charmaine calls over her shoulder. Starting now. I leap after her like a scalded frog. Wilma's come from behind to win some of her races. And so will I. Wilma Rudolph, Wilma Rudolph. When Charmaine reaches the corner, I'm nipping her ankles. Bodies lunge, feet tangle. I fall. Charmaine stays up and wins. Ouch! My toe hurts. Probably cause it's poking out a brand new hole. Just like that, I puff up again. You tripped me. I would have won if you didn't. You were in my lane. I won fair and square. Charmaine walks away, shaking her braids and swinging her bottom. I follow, mad as any cat. That's when it happens. My toe hits a rock. That rock hits Charmaine. For a minute, Charmaine looks like she might fight, but she leaves without a word. I limp home, feet dragging, head hanging. I show mama the hole. She sighs. Oh, baby girl, those shoes have to last. When parade day dawns, I'm making a banner with Dee Dee and Little Mo. Then Charmaine struts by like she's queen of the block. I scowl at her. Then I pick up the banner and nod to Dee Dee and Little Mo. Let's go. Thing is, that banner is bulky. No way I'll make it all the way to the parade. 
It might be easier if I run. I force my feet to move. But one block in, I can't go on. I hear the beat of feet. Wilma Rudolph, Wilma Rudolph. Charmaine is running by me. Pass that here, she says. I clutch the banner tighter. I don't need her help. Come on, says Charmaine. We'll do it like Wilma's relay. Three people ran it with her, you know. I hate to admit it, but she's right. I hand her the banner and she takes off for the next block. Then Dee Dee takes a turn and even little Mo. We run faster and faster till our legs are nothing but a whirling blur. Just like you know who's. People stare, eyes popping, fingers pointing. You go girls, someone calls. I sneak a look at Charmaine. Her feet are flying. Who's faster? I can't tell. But Charmaine isn't strutting or scowling. She looks happy. I don't mean to, but I smile. Charmaine smiles back. And all at once I know. Shoes don't matter. Not as long as we've got our feet. Look, I say, the perfect spot. We collapse on the curb. There are flags, bands, noise, black faces, and white ones. And finally, a fancy convertible with the top down. Right there, holding a bunch of roses, is Wilma Rudolph. We scream and raise our banner, hearts pounding, heads hoping. Wilma sees us and smiles. Then she waves. That makes Charmaine and me sashay like we own the sidewalk and everything on it. And maybe, just maybe, we do. Because we're the quickest kids in Clarksville, Tennessee. And everyone around here knows it. Author's note. In 1960, African-American sprinter Wilma Rudolph was the fastest woman in the world. At the Summer Olympic Games in Rome, Italy, she became the first woman in the United States to win three gold medals at the same Olympics. Her wins in the 100 meters, 200 meters, and four by 100 relay made her a household name. She met President John F. Kennedy and received many, many awards. Wilma's success was even more impressive because of the difficulty she overcame growing up. She was one of 22 children and her family did not have much money. Wilma was often ill as a child and wore a leg brace after she was diagnosed with polio. Doctors didn't think she would ever walk without it, but she exercised and worked for years until her leg was strong. Wilma grew up in Clarksville, Tennessee, a segregated town. There were separate schools and doctors and restaurants for black people and white people. After Wilma's victories, Clarksville wanted to honor her with a parade and banquet. Wilma said she would not attend unless the events were integrated, open to everyone. The organizers agreed, and Wilma's celebrations were the first major events for Blacks and Whites in Clarksville history. I hope you enjoyed that one. Join us next time for another book to celebrate Black History Month. Bye!